Hi guys and welcome to renovation vlog number one. I'm so excited to share this with you. Please excuse me, um, I'm not feeling too well today but um, I've just filmed, I've just put everything together for this video and realised I didn't film an intro on the day they started, I just kind of showed you what happened. So I just wanted to say hi. This is, we're coming to the end of uh, week three now but all in all um, with having to wait for building control other bits and bobs this is probably about 10 days worth of the build so far. So um, I'm just going to jump straight into it, let you see what's been happening. Obviously, it's not too pretty um, and it's not aesthet aesthetically pleasing or anything at all just yet. But obviously, we've got to trust the process and we have to get there and it will take some time. So yeah, I'm going to try and film as many of these as possible, but obviously, sometimes things are a little bit slow to actually, you can, to be able to tell what's happening and to tell there's a difference, if that makes sense. But anyway, that's enough rambling from me. I really hope you enjoy this video. Let me know what you think in the comments below and subscribe to see um, the full process as well. Thanks so much for watching. Let's get straight into it. So let's go outside and look at the progress on day one. I have a real feeling this is the calm before the storm. But they actually did a lot today. Um, they arrived at half past eight and then one of the first things they did, which you can't see, is get all the felt off the top of the roof. Um, and then they've made an opening here in the garage, which I think is roughly where our doorway into the utility room will be. So running along this wall, so this will be blocked up, running along this wall and into there will be um, the kitchen. So one day we'll be able to walk through here to get um, <laughs> into the utility room and then into the office. And then they've also um, made a start on taking up lots of the bricks off the patio because obviously this is where they're going to start digging the foundations. So that's kind of what's happened on day one. It's very, very exciting. So it's day two and they're not mucking about. <laughs> We've got um, diggers here and a big hole in the ground now. So they've started digging a trench for um, the retaining wall of the patio which will basically come up to um, where the garage ends. So yeah, the diggers are here and then I'll quickly take you in here but not a lot really else has happened in here today because they've just been concentrating on outside um, and I think they've boarded up the garage and the garage door and stuff so that is day two's progress. So last week our builders were only here for three days because after everything they'd done they then had to wait for the building inspector to come. Um, he has then since been so I think what we're going to try and do is merge this week and last week together just to make one big video. Um, that way there'll be lots more going on. Um, but we've got the building inspector coming out again tomorrow just to check all of the footings, just to make sure they're all at the right depths um, and then fingers crossed as long as he okays them tomorrow afternoon all the concrete's going to start being poured which is super exciting because I didn't actually think we'd get to this stage so quickly. Here we have one of the young apprentices. I already like the You're right there? I already so what, like the What's your job? Um, digging up holes. You'd like to dig up holes? I, I like to dig, dig holes. Oh, and what, what's the machine called you're on at the moment? A digger. Oh, it's your digger, is it? So they're putting in all the pipe work for the utility room sink and the new downstairs toilet shower room. Um, you can't really see it now actually because they've actually put the pipe in already which I didn't realise and they've started filling it up. Um, but that is the new pipe that is going in for the utility room sink and the, on the, the new downstairs toilet shower room. We've got new footings going in obviously at the front of the garage which as you can see run all the way along there. So also you can't really tell but the roof in here is almost off literally all this is above me is a bit of plywood now um, and once the footings are in and they're dry that'll be coming off. Um, they've also taken the window out today because eventually there's going to be a new back door here and we hope um, a slightly smaller window next to it. Um, let's just go out along these boards. Hey. So I think Kate's already shown you this but this is for the new patio wall which it will be going in and again this will be getting all concreted tomorrow they've all already started doing the section so that the concrete can set and we've also got to have a soak away in the back garden 
um, which they've started getting ready there. So eventually this will all just grow back over and you won't even realize it's there. So day five was exciting in the world of renovating because this was the day the concrete arrived to be poured and it was really um, quite an exciting process to watch because I've never um, experienced this myself before just watching other people's renovations. So yeah they put a pipe all the way through and then the concrete came out so this filled up all the foundations um, which was great as well because it instantly made the garden a lot safer again for the boys and the dogs to play out there. Of course the guys had to wait for it to dry so they weren't in the next day so I will be back to show you what they did on day seven and just like that it is day seven um, so day seven was quite exciting because they started to take the roof off of the garage so they got started on that um, and it was kind of it looked kind of like a garden pergola by the end of it um, and also some materials arrived um, I think there was some breeze blocks some sand and cement and all of that fun stuff so we're at the end of Monday of week three the guys have gone home it's actually about eight o'clock in the evening now but I thought I'd just come out here once the boys have gone to bed to show you what's happened because I think it's probably it looks the most different today um, so far because as you can see there's really hardly any of the carriage left at all there's just a few walls it reminds me of some kind of like Roman ruin at the moment not really but you know what I'm saying it just is very derelict right now um, so today the guys have taken the roof off of the garage and also part of this front wall has come out um, the back wall's gone and I think that's mainly what they've been doing today because obviously it's taking quite a long time to rip all of that out um, and they've just been also getting in breeze blocks and there's sand and cement that's been um, delivered which is on the front drive so um, lots of prep work really has been going on and probably even more stuff that I'm not mentioning that I haven't seen um, just for them to start building up the walls so we were originally going to go for a five metre bifold across the back. So like basically from, probably it would have been about here all the way across to about here. But we've actually decided to go six now so we have less wall either side. Um, it'll be a little bit more wall than we currently have there. So this will have to actually be bricked up a bit but it will be fine. And we just thought that would be the best option. Um, but yeah, this is where we are on first day of week three and I think this week we're going to start to see some really exciting changes. The funny thing is there's not that much wall to be built here because obviously as I just said there's going to be bifolds all the way across there so they only actually have to build out a metre-ish of wall, maybe a bit more but obviously there's lots to do here, roofs and all sorts before they can start um, knocking through and adding steels and all of that fun stuff so yeah i just can't believe it it's so exciting that we are already at this point it seems to be going really quickly um to me anyway so it's tuesday now and the builders have been back today hard at work it's such a lovely evening um I just thought I'd pop out and show you what they've done. So I don't know how much you can tell from yesterday, but they've done so much because they've built this wall up here, which we've had to take an 800 by 800 mil corner out of because of planning. And this was one of the reasons our planning took so long because um, we couldn't understand why we needed to do this and neither could our architect. Um, but instead of waiting six months and um, putting in a what's it called an appeal we just decided that we would agree to it but anyway so that's that and it really doesn't make too much of a difference because this is going to be in the utility room so it's not the end of the world at all and we'll probably obviously we need to brick this wall up and we'll, we'll put like a plant or something nice there and then um you can see here they've only built this up halfway because this is going to have a window and then this is going to be a back door to the utility room and as you can see they've started to build up to sort of um, like the ground level because 
as you can see from indoors that's sort of the height of the floor so that's obviously what's going to be running all the way through so again they've done quite a lot i'll take you over they've done quite a lot um in the ground today so yeah as you can see they've started to make the wall and this is the only this is the height they need to go up to with it because obviously it's going to have um bifolds on it so i guess they have to do something to actually create the floor but i'll learn what that is along the way you can kind of see the wall they've had to build out so <laughs> this is what's kind of what's left that over there so if i I come back a bit here you'll kind of see so yeah this will be the back of our utility room um i'm glad we did this now because we were going to have like just nothing here and just a door here um we checked with the building regulations guy if we could have a window and a door and they said yes so that will allow more light to come in which will be great and then i'm thinking we could probably put our sink unit under the window so if we're washing anything in here we can still look out to the garden um, and see the boys playing and stuff um so yeah we're going to have door there's obviously going to be a door in from the kitchen back door there i know they're quite close together but we thought it's very it's not going to be very many times when we're opening this door to come in and going out of the back door so this is mainly here because we need it for regulations um, and it will let more light in to have a glass door there. So anyway, that's that. And then across here uh, will be units, washing machine, tumble dryer, blah, blah, blah. This will basically where this wall that comes out is, this is where the stud wall is going to go across for my office. And I think we're going to do the door in the middle so that the wall that we have running along here we can also put more tall units on um so yeah that's about it for today i think that's where we've got up to um i don't think the guys are here tomorrow they said um so i will update you when they're back next and show you what they've been up to hi guys so we're actually um coming towards the end of week three now which is absolutely crazy I might not be able to do these weekly as I'd hoped and uh, maybe I will as the weeks go on and more stuff starts to happen that's um, you know really noticeable but I don't want to completely bore you and even though the guys are working really really hard every single day not necessarily um, loads of stuff happens that's really um, noticeable and visible. Um, they were away yesterday like I said but they were back today and I'll show you what they've been up to. Hopefully you can kind of see from there they have been building up the garage walls walls to the um, actual height. Let's go around here. You are. So as you can probably tell, the wall used to go up to where the white paint is, um, but that wouldn't have made it a full height room. So obviously they needed to make it a few brick rows higher, and then I'm assuming they will start to put the roof onto that. Um, so I'm sure that took loads of time as it was. And I think over here they've been doing more with the um, brick wall down here too. It was We had a really bad storm last night. So it's been the first day where we've kind of um, had like water in the concrete. And I'm not sure. Apparently tomorrow is meant to be torrential rain. So I'm not exactly sure how much more is going to happen this week. So I thought this would be a really good place to end the vlog. And I'll pick back up um, Monday next week. Um, so I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you did, what you'd like to see coming up. Um, and yeah, just have a chat to me in the comments. And hopefully as time goes on, this will all start to look very, very different. My child is over there playing in the sand like it's an actual beach. <laughs> um, thanks for watching everyone and I'll see you again very soon. Bye.